Hey YouTube, it's Life with Layra, travel tips for traveling lately. And I hope just to really quickly give you some um, tips that I've learned along the way. I'm currently seven months into an eight month backpack um, trip, uh, United States-ish. And uh, I've learned a few things uh, throughout all of my travels through the last uh, 20 years. And uh, some of them are happening like learning curve happening right now. So to start out, uh, this is a trip that I used a lot when we went to Taiwan last year. And uh, I love toe socks, but I don't like the American, you can wear this on any foot toe sock. I like the kind that are left and right uh, and have a big toe and a little toe. And they also have a heel cut into them. They fit so much better. Uh, if you can wear it on either foot, I can guarantee you that it's not going to fit pri properly. So uh, finding a good toe sock is very important. Now my tip is actually about cotton socks. Cotton socks don't dry quickly, and when you're traveling lightly and you have two, maybe three pairs, it is a pain to uh, dry them. So these are my tips. So you have your sock. You wash it in the sink. Uh, you, uh, I generally use the soap from the hotel which you know you could say that the fibers and blah blah but you're traveling you're not going to carry soap so uh, you wash it you rinse it you wring it dry and then you take a towel you place the sock in the towel and you wrap it up and you wring it dry again and I would sometimes say you might want to do this more than once. Uh, you can do it as many times as you want, but you want it not to be sopping. Like, you don't want any dripping. So, you have your sock, and now it is uh, damp, but not dripping wet. So, we always carry an iPhone charging cord, or charging cord for a normal phone. Uh, you know, this is just what I carry. But this is two and a half feet of perfectly good cord and as long as you unplug it first you can use this as a clothesline so you take your sock and you hang it over your clothesline the problem with hotels is that if they do have clotheslines they're usually in the bathroom and that's great for the hotel people but for you you need airflow airflow will help you dry faster so you want to prop this somewhere in front of a fan, an AC unit, a heat, heating unit, or even a window, somewhere where there's airflow. And you can usually get two pairs of socks and maybe two underwear on a iPhone cord propped between, say, a chair and a lamp. So that's tip one. I love doing that. I do it pretty much everywhere we go. It saves time, it saves money, you're not paying to have to do go do laundry, you're also not wasting time doing laundry because you're just washing it in your sink, hanging it dry, and going to bed. So before you go to bed, you're gonna shower and you don't want your hair to get wet because say it's cold or you know, say you're gonna shower again in the morning and you're gonna wash your hair in the morning. You need a shower cap, but say the hotel or hostel doesn't have one. You have your trusty beanie with you. Put your beanie on, tuck your hair, and you can go take a shower and have dry hair when you get out. This is amazing. So much better than a towel because a towel will fall off, um, a towel will get wet, and then now you have a wet towel and, you know, how are you going to wash your socks and, you know, or dry your socks and dry your body when you have another wet towel? So the beanie works great because you take it off and then you can just set it on your side table to dry overnight, just like dome it out like that or hang it over something. Uh, there's usually something in the room you can find. And you have dry hair in the morning. So I like fleece because of their wicking power, but anything will work. So what else can ruin a vacation? Well, not sleeping because you're not in your bed, in your home with your sounds and your light. So for me, that's a really big thing. I can sleep almost anywhere if I can get warm, dark, and quiet. So, quiet, earplugs. Uh, I'd recommend you go buy uh, a drugstore 
uh, the kind of, like they're they kind of feel like memory foam. So and you just twist them and you shove them in your ear, and they like expand back out. It feels kind of weird, but they're amazing, and they'll make they'll make you quiet. You'll hear sounds, but they'll be very muffled. Now a safety tip: when you put these in, make sure that you're either you know, in a safe place, behind a locked door, or have someone there with you that is um, not, you know, impaired. Uh, you you wouldn't want to put yourself in a bad safety situation because you couldn't hear anything. So, now, to block out the light. These are mine. I love them because you see how the nose is cut out, so light doesn't get up in through here. Also, they've got like, they kind of bow out like a cup, so you can flat, um, blink your eyes and not have any issues. Like, it's not like dragging. So while you're falling asleep and you're still blinking your eyes, it's not dragging your eyelashes back and forth, which maybe I'm the only one that that annoys, but it does. So I love these. These are by Bucky. I found them along some trail somewhere, so they're amazing. But if you don't want to do this, you could always just take your trusty beanie and pull it down over your eyes. And other than a little leakage here of light, you will sleep just fine. So, say you want to go even lighter than I am. I would highly recommend the bandana. The bandana is going to replace your eye cover. It's going to... It could replace your beanie if you want it to. And then it has the ability to do so much more. Uh, it will pre-filter your water, get particles out so that you can run it through um, an actual filter. Or you want to, you know, not drink bark or sand or whatever, but you're going to chemically treat your water. You got a water filter. Uh, it will keep your hair dry when you take a shower. You just wrap it up. Uh, you can do so much with this. If you really got in the mood for it, you can make cheese and you have cheesecloth. You have a washcloth. If you didn't have a towel, you could do that dry your socks by wrapping it in here, you know, to uh, facilitate the drying of the sock faster. Uh, it's an amazing product. You can use it as an eye cover. You can use it as a sling. You can use it as a bandage. It just... It's the gift that keeps on giving. So, amazing tool. If you want to lighten your load, I highly recommend it. In a pinch, you could use it as toilet paper. I mean, really, it's a, it's a great product. And uh, they're very, very cheap. You can buy them in bundles. So, now, along the same lines of things that you carry that you want them to do other, other things, you have your deodorant. Now, I don't care what deodorant you use. This will work with pretty much any deodorant you use, except maybe the rock deodorant. Um, you put deodorant on in the morning, and you might want to hit a few extra spots. If you're going to be walking a lot and you have some thigh chafe problems, this will help with chafing. Even underarm chafing, any kind of chafing, you have a tool, and it smells good. Thank you for joining me on my first travel light quick tips video. Uh, I hope you learned and enjoyed and I hope you will subscribe for when my next quick tips video comes out. Come do life with me again.